In this video, I'm going to discuss the installation and updates of Atmel Studio 7. What are the choices that you make during an installation? Notification updates and installing support for the latest devices using the Pack Manager are also covered. We'll start from Microchip's homepage, Design Support, Development Tools. Here we can go under AVR and SAM Dev Tools for the Atmel Studio IDE and scroll down to find the download link. There are two options of an installer. One which is offline, which includes everything, and online installer, which gives you some choices. So you have a higher granularity in decisions about what gets installed. So I'm going to run the web installer. So this little exe is just a bootstrap. Here I get to decide what major families of devices that I want to have installed. I'm going to use just AVR and SAM devices. This choice is for the Atmel software framework, ASF3. Since I'm using mainly Atmel Start with ASF4 and also AVR code for AVR devices, I'm not going to install this. The installer checks if any Windows updates are needed. Here I get a warning that I'm recommended to update, but I don't have to. From this point on, you can go and get a cup of coffee. It might take a while, but you've done all the clicking you need to do. As Studio is open for the first time, I noticed that there are a couple of notifications. So here, there's an update for Atmel Start and an update for the data visualizer. So this opens the Atmel Gallery extension and I must go to Available Downloads, and here I will see the update. Note that here I can see all the different components that are installed as part of Atmel Studio. And I'm able to copy to Clipboard, which will actually give me a full list of everything installed. If any new devices are released for families of microcontrollers that you have installed, you might get notifications here. So then you'll open the Pack Manager. And you can see new devices which are available. some information about the device and you can choose to install it.